Okay, here we go. Now, we'll go to File, Import, Media, or however you... Wow, this is incredibly slow. Uh, go wherever you put the thing, the video underscore TS, click that, and hit this arrow and go to all files at the very top. And uh, you can either select the VOB, VTS underscore 01 underscore 1 dot VOB file. Yeah, I can't even select anything, it's so slow my computer is, dude. Okay. See, at the bottom here, you can see the length, the, uh, the audio video. It's the same thing. I found the IFO is easier to edit with, because sometimes the VO, VOB sometimes screws up with the editing, and it looks like you're doing something and you're not, and it's potentially screws you up. So I go with the IFO, but your preference. Drag this baby in. Alright, let's close this. Okay. Now what you wanna do now let's watch this. I wanna see what this is. Let's see what this hilariousness is. <laughs> wow, look at it. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. So, uh, right click, properties, uncheck the maintain aspect ratio button, uh, go to media. Field order, none, progressive scan, pixel aspects ratio, one square, and then hit OK. Video event pan slash crop. And uh, you can either do 710 right here and the width section, but I suggest 700. It gives it a nice letterbox on YouTube. Ugh. And, uh, Oh yeah, the project properties. Go to uh, file properties and 720 by 480 for the width. Uh, none progressive scan. One square for the pixel aspect ratio. 8-bit pixel format. Resolution rendering quality best. Gaussian asymmetric. Promotion type blur. Blend fields or Dean Shirley's method. Click and uh, click this thingy. And uh, when you import a clip, this one right here, click this button right here, match media settings, and find that same clip. It helps a little bit. Click open. Just hit apply. Oh yeah, and the audio is. I use 5.1 surround. I don't think it makes it. I don't think it makes a difference, but uh, I use 5.1 surround sound. Not that I have it, I just use it. Maybe it comes out better on someone else's 5.1 surround sound system. Anyway, for this is what I use for Gears of War 2. Uh, color corrector, right here. Drag this in. Um, when uh, I already have a preset for it, but what when uh, what you want to do is uh, go to reset to dr uh, go to reset to none. Drag that in, and then uh, put the saturation to 1.833 and the gain to 1.55. And uh, the gamma one and the offset negative eighteen point six. Scroll down, click on glow, and then once again for you guys, uh, drag in reset to none, and then follow these settings here. 
uh, 0 0.045 for glow percent, 0 0.606 for intensi intensity, 0 0.235 for suppression. And just close that out. And then scroll down to saturation adjust thing. For you guys again, uh, drag and reset to none. Follow these settings here. Pause the video if you have to. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and then sharpen for you again. Uh, drag and reset the none. Follow the settings. Zero point two fifty, and that should be good for. Uh, this is what it looks like without any effects on. This is what it looks this is what it looks like. Add the color corrector, it makes it look pretty good. The glow makes it makes the light stand out a little better. Saturation at the <coughs> adjust makes the colors a little bit more vibrant. The sharpen just adds makes everything more a little more clearer. Yeah, that's it. And uh now when you're done click this button here the properties and then click HDV 720 30p 1280x720 29.970 frames per second the first one right under PAL video CD and hit apply hit OK and then go to render as today slow computer Finally, go to Windows Media Video 9, all the way at the bottom, or 11, wherever the hell it might be, but it, mine is Windows Videos 9. Click Custom, and then Video Rendering Quality Best, uh, the Audio CBR, Windows Media Audio 9.2, or whatever your number is, and uh, Attributes 192, kil uh, KBPS 48. Kilohertz stereo AV CBR and for the video mode CBR Windows Media Video 9 or whatever your number is custom uh the geez I got off track the width 900 by 480 pixel aspect ratio uh, 1.0 square frame rate uh, NTSC 29.970 Seconds per keyframe five. Override default compression buffer eight seconds. In the video smoothness at a hundred sharpest. Video bitrate Internet LAN six M. The index summary is nothing. Click OK. You can save that as a template, and then click save. And this could take a while, as you see in fifteen. Probably gonna take like eight minutes. But the quality is worth it if you see my other videos. I'm gonna click cancel next. That's um and yeah, that's my high quality settings for you guys that you that people have asked. Um if I wasn't clear on anything, if I forgot anything, message me. And I did not come up with the settings. Uh X convicting gave them to me and uh he took his videos down. And I'm just going to pass on the knowledge to you guys. Um, I will put his channel link possibly right under the video or in the sidebar. Check his channel out. He's got some cool videos for Call of Duty 4 out there. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Peace out, yo.